Alright, next thing we're going to talk about is co-function of complements. So, uh, you know, looking at these two, we've already talked about 30 and 60 uh, degree reference angles. So, what we're going to do is we're going to see the connection of some of these. Now, the reason that these have connections is because anytime you're looking at two angles in the same uh, triangle, aside from the 90 degree angle, those two have to be complements of each other. So, if you look, like the cosine of 60 degrees is one half. Well, the sine of 30 degrees is equal to 2. And you'll see those, the cosine of 30 is equal to the sine of 60. The cosecant of 60 is equal to the secant of 30. So you'll see a lot of connections between these. Uh, the tangent of 30 degrees is the square root of 3 over 3, where the cotangent of 60 degrees is the square root of 3 over 3. So we're going to try to make that connection Okay. And what you should see is no matter what your triangle is, these two angles have to be complements of each other. So a lot of times, especially on your standardized tests like your ACT, you may see it as theta and 90 degrees minus theta to represent the, the complementary angle. So what you need to know is your co-functions are like this, sine and cosine. So the reason it's co-function is because the co in front so the sine of your angle is equal to the co-function of the complement, and of course vice versa. So the cosine of your angle is equal to the sine of your complement. So we can move on and we'll say the secant of your angle is equal to the cosecant of your complement. And then of course it also works the other way. The secant of the complement is equal to the cosecant of your actual angle. And then the last one we can deal with, of course, is your tangent. The tangent of your angle is equal to the cotangent of the complementary angle. And vice versa, the uh, cotangent of your angle is equal to the, uh, the tangent of your complement. And the reason being is because when you look from different sides, when you're looking from this angle right here, okay, this is your hypotenuse. This is your opposite, and this is your adjacent. But then when you're looking from this angle, this is still your hypotenuse. This is actually your opposite, and this is your adjacent side. So the triangle stays the same, it's just the names change. And there's the connection. You can see the connection between how these change and the trig functions that we have.